President Trump facing increased pressure from business leaders to begin a transition to the new Biden administration. Several key allies for Trump appear to be losing their patience, including Blackstone CEO Stephen Schwartzman. So here to bring us up to speed is Quick Take's chief correspondent, Jason Kelly. Jason, I've heard people call Schwartzman a Trump whisperer. He was a high profile supporter of the president. He was also also an unofficial advisor to the president as well. How significant is it for Schwartzman to signal that he's moved on and President Trump should too as well. I think, uh, hi, Scarlett, I think, and I'm not alone, this is huge. This, this is a big moment. I mean, Steve Schwartzman, as you say, incredibly powerful across Wall Street in corporate boardrooms, and really, as you say, owing largely to his relationship to the president that is unofficial in many ways, although he did chair a business council early on in the administration. He's also been one of the largest individual donors to the president uh, through his reelection campaign. He was a staunch supporter, as you say, and now he's essentially saying, all right, folks, let's move on. How representative do you think Steve Schwartzman is of billionaires in the corporate world? Do his comments make it okay for others to take his lead and do the same. I I think Sheldon Adelson has also intimated as much. I think it is definitely gives a lot of cover to other people to essentially say, look, if Steve, uh, given his relationship with the president, is basically saying this, it is time for the rest of us to to maybe be a little bit more vocal. Let's be honest, uh, Scarlett, and you know this as well as anyone, these guys are pragmatists. They didn't get to be billionaires by not understanding the way the world is going. Uh, Steve Schwartzman, Henry Kravis, and others, they have worked with all administrations across uh, many, many decades, and they ultimately know that in order for their business to be successful, they need a well-functioning government. Yeah, so I guess it's no surprise then that other CEOs have also uh, said they plan to write an open letter to the administration to say that a transition should get underway. We've also heard from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce making a similar call last week as well. Um, Until now, the the stance from Republicans has basically been they don't want to uh, anger the president's base in any way uh, as they wait for the results of the court cases. But the court cases have not really gone as planned. No, they definitely haven't. And, you know, if you're running a business, you have to be more pragmatic in maybe a different way. You need to understand how your business is going to run. You need to have a relationship with the incoming administration, incoming regulators and legislators who are ultimately going to decide what the business environment is going to be. I mean, keep in mind, you know, we're speaking on a day where we're getting a much clearer picture of who the Treasury Secretary is going to be, who the Secretary of State is going to be. And one of the big things, Scarlett, that businesses are very focused on is what is the global landscape for businesses go- going to be? You know, when I spoke with Steve Schwartzman a week ago for the New Economy Forum, he even intimated that he was looking forward to a world that was embracing globalism a little bit more. Interesting that uh, even back then he was kind of hinting at what could come uh, in the months ahead. Now, Steve Schwartzman has said that he's ready to help the Biden administration. Can you give us a sense of what kind of relationship he has with Joe Biden or with anyone from the Obama administration and what that may suggest about what we can expect going forward? Well, it's an interesting question, Scarlett, because when you dig a little deeper into Blackstone, this is a firm. It's incredibly powerful, more than a half a trillion dollars under management, massive real estate holdings, investors around the world. Two of its top executives beyond Steve Schwartzman, Jonathan Gray, who's the existing president, the current president, and Tony James, his predecessor as president, have been big donors to the Democrats historically. Steve Schwartzman himself had a relationship with President Obama. He actually acted as a go-between. We've reported this in years past between President Obama and the administration and then House Speaker Paul Ryan when they were negotiating a fiscal package. So, again, pragmatism rules the day. This is a guy in Steve Schwartzman, and he is representative of a lot of his peers who ultimately want to get things done. They want to get things done for themselves, for their customers, and for their colleagues. Yeah. As Schwartzman goes, so goes the rest of Wall Street and perhaps corporate America. Quick take, Chief Correspondent Jason Kelly, thank you so much for that insight.
the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.